Okay, what's up, fam? Today we got Kiki here, as you can see. She's an albino BCI uh, baby. She's probably about, I would say, I don't know, three months, two, three months um, hatchling. I got her like a month ago, I would say. And uh, it's been really positive. She's never like struck at me or anything like that. But today I just want to do an update on her. She just uh, shed last night. So you can kind of see her colors, just how truly, you know, awesome they are, you know? Come on and see it a little better there. But that tail, her tail is like, an, like a dark blood orange. It is so badass. And she's like hella pink. She got like, like makeup almost like some like pink makeup was put on her or something. But yeah, you can kind of see her tail. Beautiful that is, you know, like that. So she, um, she did have a little stuck shed and that's just because I didn't know that she was shedding. Um, had I known that I would have bumped up her humidity to 80%, um, but it's okay. Um, you know, it's not like it's like stuck over eye caps or anything like that. It's just at the end of the tail, a little bit left over. I got most of it off um, earlier. I kind of soaked her in uh, you know, her little tub. Kind of see back there. Um, and so yeah, you know, did that with her. And you know, so it came off. It's not as it's not as bad as it was. And it wasn't even bad, honestly. But typically, like, once your, your snake, whatever, has shed, you know, it's a good thing to look them over, you know? And, and if you see stuck shed, you know, just bathe them for a little bit, and it should come off. And if it doesn't, you know, I don't know. If it's, like, a little bit like this, that's just, like, a little tiny bit under tail. Like, honestly, that dust is going to come off on its own. should be fine. But in the future, some of those things, I guess, you just got to check, like, every day you know, when it's about that time, or even documented, I guess. Like, that's what I'll do with hair. This is my first shed with hair. Uh, so now that I know, I can kind of monitor it a little bit better. And I'll kind of know, like, roughly, okay, like, she's about ready to shed, you know. And then I'll know that to bump up the humidity to 80 to 90%. And uh, for those who are wondering what I had it at, it was at 65, 75% usually. Sometimes I had it at 80%, but it wasn't at 80% 80, 80 consistently for, you know, those, those number of days. <clears throat> But um, yeah, yeah. if you experience like a little stuck shed, like I did with her, then um, that it's just literally because your uh, your humidity is just a little too too low. And so, like I said before, you know, you wanna bump that into like, you want it to be like 80, 90%, uh, you know, for a good, nice shed. So, uh, you know, it's really important is like having um, a hydrometer. Hope I said that right. I believe I said that right. Hydrometer and a thermometer. Uh, I can show you one that I have. Um, and uh, so yeah, I prefer using dials because if you use like the digital ones, like because you know your enclosure is gonna be misted, you know, and so it's gonna be a little wet, and so because of that, it could you know damage your uh, you know, hydrometer, and so that could give you like faulty readings and whatnot. So that's why I personally just like the dial ones. It's just you know more reliable. I feel like. Um, and so Kiki here, um, she is about. Like I said, like three months old. So as you know, she's growing, right? And so as snakes grow, they shed. And that's exactly what she just did. And that's why we have these really cool colors. I, I really hope that camera can pick it up because it's so cool. Um, so yeah, that's Kiki. Oh. There she goes. Ah, trip me up. Uh, as you can see, she's just so chill. I feel like lucked out, you know? I don't know, a lot of people say like, you know, BCIs when they're babies, they're really nippy, but you know, knock on wood. Yeah, she's never, um, yeah, never struck at me, never even hissed. My ball python, like if you guys seen the other videos, I've told you guys like, you know, has actually struck at me, he hasn't bit me, but has tried and has hissed at me before, where she hasn't. So I honestly, I really don't feel nervous when I'm holding her. Uh, as much as like when I hold my ball python, which is kind of funny. You would imagine it to be the opposite. At least I, I definitely thought it would be the opposite. <laughs> I thought for sure she was gonna attack my ass. Like, you know, 
but she hasn't. But even as mammals, like, right, as like humans, you know, or dogs, cats, whatever, they shed too. You know, you have a dog, I have a German Shepherd, and my German Shepherd, if anyone has a German Shepherd, they'll be the first to tell you. They're really, their nickname should be German Shedders, because they shed so much. Um, a little corny joke, but yeah, you know, we're constantly shedding because we're constantly growing to a degree, right? As humans, we're all, our cells are renewing, whatever. And we're, uh, so that's why we're constantly shedding. Whereas like snakes, whatever, they do it all at one time, which is kind of fascinating. Like I said, snakes, they shed their skin all in one interval. So it's a whole process. So it's like I said before, it starts with a milky eye. Grad granted, she's in a milky eye right now, but I didn't even see it, dude. Like, so I'm kind of shocked that she was cheap and shed like you know um has ever happened to you before like have you went into your closure and you're like dang like you're, sh you're actually shedding I, I didn't even know you know have you been in that situation before let me know <laughs> how did it go did it did you have a clean shed or you know what was it like what was your experience like you know you'll even see their 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 um they say their color will be like more faint but because she's an albino like, I don't know, it was hard for me to even notice it, I guess. Like, this is like the first time like really seeing her after shed. So, you know, man, I hope you guys can really see like how freaking pink she is. So a lot of people I've talked to um, about whether she was an albino or a oh, sun glow. Yeah. So I thought she was a sun glow in the low just because of like that, the pink. Like, I just, I don't know. It's never seen, you know, um, an albino with like this coloration there's so much pink you know and then like that blood orange color but granted she is a baby so people say like oh she'll lose that color i don't know we'll see man. it's really re oh my gosh it's just insane i'm geeking out over here <laughs> uh so Whenever you see them in that blue, they get that blue milky eye, that's when you wanna bump that temperature to like I said before, that 80, 90%. Um, don't do what I did and ignore it, or just, I don't know, pay attention to that, I guess. Like every night before I go to bed, um, you know, I think I'll start checking for that, you know, in a couple of weeks, like when I'm expecting her to start shedding. Just to avoid that, cause you know, I don't, can't imagine it feeling too great, you know, having stuck shed. But here she is. Looking beautiful than ever. You don't mind, do you? Hmm? You like the camera? That's Kiki. Yeah, she's open. <laughs> Dad, she's my favorite. It's always fun handling her. Another thing too, when they're shedding, they may not want to eat, um, which is kind of weird, you know, with, especially it being a boa. You kind of always expect boas to eat, um, but it is a good chance that she might not, or he might not, if they are uh, in shed. But, um, you know, she she ate for me, so I, I really didn't, you know, I, I couldn't tell. So I guess it's kind of based on the individual snake, honestly, whether they'll eat or not. But, you know, it's okay if they don't. Just once they finish shed, once they finish shedding, you know, I go ahead and just feed them then. Um, if you have like a ball python, I honestly, if you notice your ball pythons in shed, I just, I, I would just, uh, oh, it's your head. I wouldn't really, uh, I wouldn't feed them just because like they're finicky eaters as is, you know, I would just wait until they're done with their shed. Um, but yeah, that's my boa. Like I said before in previous clips, if you notice like your boa is, um, or has like stuck shed, you can just, uh, you know, put them in some warm water. shallow water in a little tub like this with a, a top to be put on top you know like that's you know those little containers that you can pick up at a, a local pet store you know um, that's what I did that's what I, I, I use for when I'm cleaning their, their enclosures I put them in there but anyways if you notice a little stuck shed and you can't kind of get it off yourself whatever it's like too large of a piece or something you can go ahead and um, just bathe them in there. Uh, I put the water at 85 degrees. That's what it said. I don't know. So I have like a little temperature gun. And I checked it and, you know, it all checked out. So, um, yeah. And most of it came off. So it's just like a tiny little piece right there. And I, I just feel that, like, honestly, she'll kind of get off herself. Just moving around and stuff. She's really cool. I can't wait till she gets like bigger. You know, it'll be exciting. 
to see, definitely. Especially because she's just so chill, you know? Like, um, in the future, I definitely can imagine, like, she would be, like, the, the snake that I would show to people, uh, especially people who are afraid of snakes. Like, she's a great, dude, she's just so good. And as you guys can see, she is just, like, chilling with me, man. She's my homie. But she loves to move around. If you notice, like, the video of my ball python, he didn't move around. He wasn't moving around at all. Like, he was just kind of, like, in one location. Um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, baba. But yeah, she's a cutie. As you guys know, uh, with me, every time we shoot, or every time I shoot, uh, we like to always end our experience on a positive note. Um, and so I always like to kind of just, you know, give some kind of, what do you say, like, some positive message at the end of this experience. You guys watch this video. Thank you once again for watching. But um, yeah, so like right now, I would just say, just like Kiki here, how they have to shed in order to grow. We as humans also have to shed in order to grow. Kiki here, never being able to fully shed, you know, she wouldn't grow. She probably would eventually die, you know? So point being is just that like, you know, it could, you know, prevents you from growing, like holding on to stuff like fear. It could be anything like, you know, you gotta let that stuff go. Like I used to be afraid of snakes, believe it or not. Well, I, I wasn't originally, but I became afraid of them because I hadn't worked with them in a long time. And so when I was a kid, I love snakes. I would, you know, play with them all the time, go to Petco and be like, oh, can I beat the snakes and play with them? And those dudes, they didn't care. So I'd, I would just do it all the time. But, um, so I wasn't afraid of snakes, you know, but you stop working with them for years and then you get back into the hobby, you're just like, like, ah, I'm scared. But she's a really good girl. As you can see, a little bit of that skin I was telling you about. Oh yeah, it's a hole with the toe. So maybe, yeah, the rest of that will come off later on today. And if it doesn't, um, I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. And if it doesn't, then I'll, I'll give her a bath for real. Um, I was just trying to soak, I didn't know how much was on there, but now I could see it. It's more like the whole, the end of the toe. So ultimately, like, don't be like the, the stuck shed, you know, that prevents yourself from growing. Um, I'm not trying to give a whole speech on that, but, you know, even Kiki would agree that, you know, growing and change feels great, you know? Like, look at this new skin, you know? Yeah, so I feel like for humans, it's equivalent to this kind of, like, when you, know, when you grow, you can really, like, change. And then, you know, like, you find this inner beauty again. I just can't stress enough like how cool snakes are in that regard to like life in general, you know? But this is Kiki here. And now I'll just shut up and just let you guys kind of just see her. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys later. Black Hippie out.